All right, it's morning time. Y'all, do y'all ever just like get up in the morning and you're like, I'm gonna put on the same clothes <laughs> that I had in the garden and I'm not gonna shower because I'm gonna shower after I come back in the house. And I'm just gonna have some coffee and go out to the garden and have a little fun. That's me today. So I'm have my little coffee and my pick up a whole <coughs> cup and I am going to go out and do some things. So my plan was really not to go out at all today. I was going to uh, stay in the house and just chill and clean because y'all, your girl's house is a wreck right now. But I could not resist the urge to go out. So I want to prepare some pots for, yeah, I'm sorry for all the movement, but you know, that's how we roll. I'm multitasking, okay? So I want to prepare some some um, flower pots. <laughs> I want to prepare some flower pots so that I can uh, plant some flowers. And I'm gonna show you all what I purchased because I did make a purchase. Uh oh, y'all see a wasp nest? Mm -mm. Can y'all see the little wasps making their little nest there in my window? I can. And as much as I would like to keep them, they got to go. So I'm heating up my soldering iron because I need to put some holes in uh, some of these uh, pots that I purchased. So let me show you what I got. Y'all, it's taking me so long to get outside today. I know I'm not going to be out there that long because uh, it is probably almost 11 o'clock. So y'all know the sun is coming in on the garden and I don't want to be out there when it's too hot. So I have a few things that I purchased at the dollar store and I purposefully went there to buy some flowers. I wish I would've got more and I'm not gonna make any special trips to go get more, but if I go by there, I will. So I'll show you what I got because they have like these uh, bulbs. So I'm gonna plant some bulbs. I don't know if it's too late to plant bulbs down here, but I'm gonna plant them anyway. Oh. These are the gladiosas. I, I feel like I showed these. Oh, you know what? I think I had some of them already. Uh, I got some more gladiosos. And we got one pack of Afrisha. And I wish I would have got more than one because, you know, they only have like a few things. I don't, you know what? I feel like it's not worth the money buying these at the dollar store because you probably get more for your money at the box store. But whatever i've never purchased them before and this one is the y'all can read it <laughs> i don't know and i got another pack of uh, ranunculus and this time it actually has four in it because when i was doing my haul video i noticed that this one it says four but only has three so i should have inspected the package and then i also got so um, more containers. And I know I said I'm good on containers, but these, I got these specifically to go in the front of my house. So I wanted them to be like a, the same color. So I'm gonna put my bulbs in some of these. So I got a couple of those. I got um, some more of these containers and I use these to put my seedlings in. So I just needed a couple more cause I'm gonna be planting some more seeds while I'm getting the grounds ready for my plants and they had these little uh, macrame, you know, mammy made macrame <laughs> uh, thingies. I don't know if y'all can see it. So I have a spot that I think I can hang these in. And uh, yeah, I got two of those. And they had some different colors, but I kind of like the gold. They had black and they had another color, but I was like, y'all, y'all know I like color. And then I just bought some hooks as well to go with them. And that is basically all I bought. Now I gotta put some holes in here. So let's go back outside. All right, so I'm just gonna put some holes in here, y'all. I did a video on this and I'll link it above. 
but it's really kind of a no-brainer and it's very simple how to easily put holes in the bottom of your containers and y'all saw me plug in my soldering iron I iron and it's already heated up and all I do is just punch those holes yay y'all gotta watch out for the wasp and the bees out here So I decided instead of doing the bottom to do them on the sides. So if I put these on the ground, I won't have to worry about like roots coming up under the bottom. So I'll probably do that from now on is to put the holes around the sides. Oh snap y'all, I done lost my shade. I don't know if I'm gonna be out here now. Okay, y'all, so I'm sitting at my dining room table because I decided to come in and do a few things before I actually uh, really get started out there. And I'm probably not really gonna get started out there. <laughs> so let's chit chat, chit chat. We're doing a little indoor gardening activity when it's kind of warm outside. I need to make some labels. So these were the strawberries that I planted. So I need a label for that. And before I plant my flowers, I'm gonna make some labels for those. And I think I might need maybe about three um, pots for these. And then I need some labels for my hot uh, banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, and my blonde bell peppers. I got dirt all over the place. And so I had to take my like little seed thing. Y'all, I got this from the dollar store and I love it so much because I put like my little writing utensils in here and I have uh, my Q-tips if I'm gonna do any threesomes this year. I have my labels in here. I'm gonna put a link to these in the description because I love these labels. I had these since last year and I think they come in like a hundred packs. So you can see I still have a gazillion of those left and I'm gonna need those. And then the seeds that I'm gonna plant, I always stick in here and I just take this whole thing outside. And this is just some zip ties, which probably don't really belong in here, but whatever. All right. So let's chitty chit chit chat while I am doing this little activity here. Now, I had to ask this question, and I'm asking y'all this question because inquiring minds want to know. My question is, do you miss your garden at nighttime? Yeah, I'll be missing my garden at nighttime um, when it's dark and I can't look through the window and it's all dark out there and I can't run back and forth outside to look at stuff. I really be missing my garden like it's a like it's a person. wonder is it normal to feel like that to feel like you miss miss your uh your garden oh I'm not done I still have like a few of these left to go y'all I never grew these before anybody grew these blonde peppers the blonde bell peppers I want to give them a go Also, when I'm writing my labels, sometimes I, I write them so sloppy <laughs> that later on, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> do you all ever do that too? Yeah, I do that a lot. Oh, still not finished, I forgot. I need one more label for uh, my strawberries.
All right, so indoor activity done. Now I can take these outside and put the markers where they're supposed to be. So I'm trying to do my markers before I actually plant my stuff. So uh, that way I won't forget because lots of times I forget. Good morning, y'all. It is uh, the next day because yeah, I had some camera issues yesterday so I didn't finish but I actually didn't do too much out here yesterday so the only other thing I did was I went in the house and um, I did some seed saving and you'll see that on another video so today my goal is just to start my carrot beds and I don't intend to be out for too long and we have good shade as you can see but first I have to say good morning to my babies Y'all have to say good morning. Good morning to uh, my little plant babies that have not came up yet. Good morning, Mr. Tomatillo plant that has uh, buds on it and I need to put you into the ground. Good morning, Mr. Strawberries that are starting to uh, pop out already. Good morning. I see you down there. I would say good morning to you, but I don't think you belong. Let's pull you out. Y'all, finally, my peas are coming up. Good morning to you all. And yay, morning, morning, my geraniums. They're coming back, y'all. I chopped them all the way down and they are coming back. Now my little jalapeno plant is pooping out jalapenos already. So I'm definitely gonna say good morning to you. And yay, my tomato plant's not laying on the ground. Good morning. Y'all look, he's strong and old, this pepper plant. So I'm just gonna say good morning to this poor little pepper that's trying to get pooped out. Hello, hello, Mr. Comfrey plant. You've been holding your own in here. I'm so proud of you. Hey, it's my first strawberry coming out. Y'all, isn't that bloom just absolutely beautiful? Now it's time to get to work on this. Y'all, so I got my mask on because I'm messing with dirt. And uh, I think on the previous, uh, on last week's video, I showed you all. I had some bags that were kind of, they were laid on their side and they've been that way for months, like six months and some grubs invaded my bag. So I've been regretting opening this bag. So yeah, we're gonna open it together. The moment of truth. I know there was grubs and you can see where the holes are at. I'm hoping the birds got it cause I left it open. Ta-ta! I think the birds got it, you all. Let's get a shovel or the trowel anyway. And let's see, they may have dug down, but I don't think so. I feel like they wouldn't have dug down. But I feel like the birds got them. So far, no evidence. Oops, now I'm just, that's why I put this tarp down here because look, I got roots in here. Y'all, this is some um, compost. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this with the wrong hand. Hold up. Here we go. I have more control. But this stuff is hard as a rock. I don't even know how the grubs was in here. But um, there was another bag on top of here. And when I moved the bag, the grubs were just all curled up and laid in here. And now, I think the birds got them. Yay. All right. So now I can use this dirt. Found them. I guess they did dig down. So I'm just going to take these out. <clears throat> I just used my little trowel. As y'all know, I am not touching them. And I'm going to put them in the street where the birds can find them. Bye-bye, grubbies. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. It's the end of the day today, and it's been raining. I did get a lot done this morning. Um, good thing I came out this morning. But, y'all, let me show you some of my observations. Look at the tomatillo plants. Look how little they are, and they're in a plant together. I'm scared to replant them, but I need to do that because they are um, making uh, flowers. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. 
And then I still have the stevia plant that I gotta do too. But check this out. Look at my strawberries. So these are the strawberries that I planted, my little strawberries. Y'all gotta, gonna have to be doing some weeding in here, I can see. And um, they're coming up, all of them are coming out. That one has a little flower on it. This one had like a bud on it. I don't know what it's doing, but look, leaves. This one, not so much. I got some leaves coming out of there, so it's doing pretty good. And this one, I wasn't really sure if this was even a crown. And this one also, there's nothing coming out. I don't think there's a crown there. And y'all look, my beans came out. Look at those beautiful beans. But I'm trying to figure out uh, what that be right there supposed to be beans in that cup too and it's not so we have a lots of starts that are coming up and I just did these so nothing to see there we got peas coming up today so I'm happy about that um, my basil plant down here was uh full on trying to send out some uh, flowers and I chopped it off my pea forest and these peppers are uh, getting pooped out quite nicely. I need to get in here and deadhead these marigolds. I sifted lots of dirt today and uh, I finally have my trunk ready so it can accept its beans. So as soon as they pop up a little bit more, I'll be putting the beans over here. Okay, this one, this, um, flower did not survive but this one is making a comeback so hopefully it's gonna stay alive y'all this is my moringa plant and look it has like some kind of flower pods on here i need to research that because i don't know and it looks kind of uh very sparse because i haven't done anything to it and my radishes are looking good as well and also my strawberries are looking good I emptied just a few uh, buckets today because y'all, I gotta get this ready for my beans. And it's gonna take me a few more days to get these going. Ooh, my comfrey is looking really perky. I think the uh, it enjoyed the rain. I was able to empty some more of these bags, but I still have a ways to go and I still have to plant my carrots because this whole thing is gonna be carrots, but it's not ready yet. Y'all, I was kind of sad that I haven't been able to do more out here just yet. I was looking at some of my older videos. The garden looks so pretty last year. And it looks so dead right now. <laughs> but I know I just got to be patient and just do what I can. Because I have so many things that need to be replanted. And I'm kicking myself in the butt because, y'all, I could have... Uh, had things still growing still alive and i just i let my poor garden down but that's okay we're just starting over on a lot of things everything's going to be nice and fresh but it's not more work than i thought it was going to be <laughs> i already knew it was gonna uh it was gonna be some work and Frankly, I just started last week getting things together when I could have had a lot of things uh, done and ready over the winter time. But I've been busy too, so I don't know. I do not know. So I was gonna come out and do some cleanup today, but it's kind of wet and moist and damp and I'm a little lazy and I got some other stuff I wanna do. I also did like a lot of video editing today <sighs> i just need to make a list of some things and then just do the stuff that's on the list and then i should be okay but stuff is starting to grow so that makes me happy because for a while i was like i'm so sad things aren't growing but they are <laughs> all right so on till tomorrow so much for my gardening this afternoon Oh, look at that. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man. 
It's snowing. <laughs> Y'all ever heard that song? You know, it is so many rain songs out there from when we were a kid, right? Well, I was gonna go out and I was gonna do some gardening this afternoon, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. But that's okay because the beauty of it is my few little plants that are out there, they are loving the rain. Even though this is day three, they're probably overdone, but you know how that goes. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking out of my garden because I can't go out there. Y'all, I miss my garden when I can't just go out there and, you know, look at all the new plants. Because, you know, who doesn't look at their plants a thousand times a day? <laughs> you know, I always wonder about the people that have like the allotments uh, where they have to kind of drive to their garden. How that works out for them. I don't know how well I would do with a garden like that because I'm just so motivated because my garden is just right here. Well, it is kind of the end of the week in uh, my video world <laughs> and I can't really do anything else. So I'm going to wrap this uh, weekly garden diaries up and um, I'll probably, well, not probably, I will see y'all on the next one. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments. Are you enjoying the Garden Diaries? Because I'm enjoying making the Garden Diaries for you. All right, everybody. I'll see you on the next video. See you later, tools. Bye.